All right, today I'm gonna to be going over the uh, three different methods that control inputs can be wired into the Paviro controller or router. To start out, we're gonna focus on the supervised input located on the back top Phoenix block for the control ins. The, the supervised input has three different types of wiring that it accepts. Normal logic input, which is basically a simple contact closure. An analog input that can be used with a potentiometer and a supervised method, which has four different states for the contact closure, active and not active, but open and short circuit for supervision qualities. The circuit requires two 3.3K resistors, one to be in line with the contact closure and one across the contact closure. The isolated control inputs located on the bottom Phoenix block of the control in have a different wiring method and require a power source to become active. An external power supply can be used for this, as well as the 10 volt reference and ground pins located on the analog control in Phoenix block. It should be noted that the analog control inputs are only located on the Paviro controller and are not present on the Paviro routers. Another control input source on the controller would be the analog control in located on the back left of the unit. These inputs accept two different types of wiring methods, a potentiometer to be used as an analog control input for say a volume control, and a dry contact closure input for simple controls on and off. With a quick look at the Bavero router, we can see that there are two sets of supervised inputs giving you a total of 10, and two sets of isolated inputs giving you again another set of 10 control inputs into the system. Here we can see both units side by side. Thanks for watching.